All right, check this out. Here we have the MSI GE66 with an 8-core i7, the RTX 3070, and a 300 hz Full HD display. Now this video will showcase stock thermal paste versus Fobia Nano Grease Extreme. We'll be using max fan with an ambient temperature of 72 degrees Fahrenheit and a two hour gaming session playing Outbreak. The GE66 has to simultaneously cool a 60 watt 8 core i7 and a 125 watt RTX 3070. GPU temps run around 70 degrees Celsius, but the CPU will hit 90 to 95 degrees on the regular. Now let's compare stock to Phobia Nano Grease Extreme under the same circumstances. GPU temperatures run about the same 70 degrees Celsius, but the CPU now hangs out around 80 degrees Celsius. This is a respectable result. Now for the CPU only stress test using ADA64, stock thermal paste temps would allow the CPU to hit 100 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, Phobia Nano Grease Extreme was in the low to mid 80s. The high temps occur when Intel's second power limit is active, allowing it to push into the 100 watt range. Once the long-term power limit kicks in, temperatures will settle. So I consider this a worst case scenario either way. Core temp differential isn't as close as I would like, however, and this can be a byproduct of a three-screw mount over the CPU die. Regardless, I'm impressed with these results.